What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, I guess a huge shout out to Sunday for sponsoring today's video. Sunday is an annual subscription that provides you with all of the lawn care products you need. From fertilizer to weed control to seed, it's all customized based on your region, your climate, your soil, and your yard. Sunday builds you a custom plan specific for your yard and this is how it works. First, you type in your address to start your lawn care analysis. Then you get your customized lawn care plan in just seconds. Everything gets shipped directly to your doorstep. You unbox it, attach the ready to use nutrient pouches to your hose and spray. It takes just 15 minutes. And it doesn't stop there. Sunday actually sends you products all year round to keep your lawn looking good. Last year, my lawn took a huge downturn. And as you guys know, we are going to be putting the house up on the market soon. So I got to get my lawn looking fresh, clean, and green for those realtor showings. Sunday takes all the guesswork out and sends me everything I need in these nutrient pouches. This is all you need right here, guys. They're convenient. They're easy to use. They keep my lawn looking lush and green. So if you guys want to have the best looking lawn in the neighborhood, go ahead and click the link down in the description down below. Go to get some sunday.com slash flare and use promo code flare 20 to get 20 percent off your order huge shout out to sunday for sponsoring today's video and keeping my lawn looking good it's brands like them that i partner with that allow me to do what i do every single day which is make videos for you guys at home to enjoy so with that being said enjoy the rest of today's video what's going on folks what? really what? Why is he talking all of a sudden? How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? We are feeding the animals. Big boy Rick. Oh, llamas. Uh, mm, I know what happened. Time yeah. Of the, time of the month? Yeah. The llambussies played bleeding. Oh. <laughs> uh, and I'm guessing Carlos was the deed <laughs> doer. Because Carl, uh, the, 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 the llambussy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Carlos yeah. Yeah. Carlos, Carlos got in there, son. Oh, God. What Car does that make? One one hung llama, you know. <laughs> Carlos, look at the Carlos has a little bit of blood. Come here, Carlos. No, you f don't do that. You can't really see. Not much. He's got. She's got a little bit right here too. You all right, llama? What's wrong? You guys homies now all of a sudden? Is that is that what goes on, llama? Sure Pedro didn't do it. Pedro, he might have. Why are you mad, Ralph? Because you weren't the one doing the deed last night, and you had to sit there and watch Carlos. <laughs> I mean, that's just, That's a little rough. That's what happened. I mean... Ralph, no, Ralph! Oh, God! God. Raise the eye, too. What the... Stop doing that, Ralph. No one likes the piss flung on them, okay? Dude, he's getting... He's trying to fling some nugs, too. You see that? He's trying to get some good trajectory. Look at that. How's it going, little ass? You guys want some grain? There you go, Carol. Carol, oh. easy with the horns. I'm gonna take your freaking arm off. Dude, it is like maybe 25 outside. This literally makes no sense. Good news, we're, well, we're not working inside, we're working outside today. The plan today though, is to increase the size of the mud pit. You guys saw the mud pit video, it seemed to like it. We're going to make it a fishing pond. We vetoed that idea. We said, hey, we have enough fishing ponds. We don't need any fishing ponds. Plus we're trying to move at some point from this place. So it's like, what's the point of putting in a pond if and stock it full of fish and then leaving? It doesn't really make much sense. So the mud pit that exists now, uh, it's, I don't know, maybe like 30, 40 by, 20 wide, I mean, decent little section. We think we could probably make it close to like a half acre with all that space on there. So we have the excavator, you guys saw us, we bought that. Before we take it down to the ranch, we wanted to try to knock out some projects around the house, um, being that one of them's the mud pit. There's a few other little things, but we gotta try to get it done today, soon, and then hopefully ship the excavator down to the ranch later this week um, and get to work down there. We got roads to clear, we've got ponds to dig, lakes to dig. We're trying to build a fish hatchery, so we're gonna build that. So basically the excavator's gonna live at the ranch but until we move it down there, we wanna get some stuff done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run up, we're gonna get the excavator, we're also gonna get the skid loader. The skid loader is gonna be good for clearing trees because we don't have a thumb on the excavator, unfortunately. Um, so we'll do that. And then the boys have never ran the excavator, isn't that right, Banjo? I've never ran a claw machine before. I've got some prizes. Now you like got that. that. Yeah, and that's pretty much the same yeah. thing. You ran the, have you ran the mini before? No, just, just the skid. You never ran the mini? No. Oh, this would be good then. You ran the mini. I've ran the mini, but is this just a bigger version it's of it? It's just it's the same. Exact same. Larger. Controls. Yeah, same same controls and everything. So we're gonna get down there. We'll clear some land, get kind of positioned. All the boys are gonna try it out because we gotta get beefcake construction. You guys ready? Oh, God, yeah. Why is he so funny? Why is he Why is he wild? Is he horny too? So beefcake construction LLC. We gotta get all the boys ready to use the equipment. So it can't just be me because I need. What's going on? He just assaulted Pedro. He bit Pedro? He bit Pedro? That's what I'm saying. I don't know why he's so loud. But anyways, 
we gotta get everybody used to the equipment. So that way it's not just me, because if we get a bulldozer, I want to run the bulldozer. They could run the excavator, vice versa. Uh, that way we actually have a construction company, and it's just not me hopping units to units, and Banjo just sitting there with his thumbs up. We gotta get Banjo out there moving some dirt. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! Getting in the old excavator this morning. Got her all heated. I've got my heated seat, baby. That's what I'm saying. Even when it's cold outside, still get some stuff done in the old X. Oh God, yeah. Big Sheila. We got her parked out front here. We're gonna take her down to that pond right there, which is the uh, which is the mud pit. Nope, turn that beep off. All right, and we are on the move. So we're gonna head down and uh, I'm gonna try not to tear my driveway too bad. Try to get down there and uh, dig this bad boy out. Like I said, I'm gonna see Pop Beep Cakes around too. He might enjoy running this. It'd be a good, good like first time trial run uh, for everybody to kind of try to get used to it. Obviously, I'm not gonna just throw them out there. I mean, I barely know how to run this sucker, and I've put in probably 200 hours in the mini and the big excavator combined. So, but I think everybody, you know, having a little little chance at running it for a bit. Since we have all this equipment, I don't want to be the only guy to be able to run it. So we got to train up BK Construction LLC. You guys stay tuned. too bad um, I saw your face and that's the only reason why I dodged that tree yeah I couldn't see it. you go up you're looking up and I looked over and I was like oh right there's a tree right there <laughs> and I had to get her down but what I might have to do is back up this is the dirt that I moved with the skid blow it out I didn't realize how much space we had here what I might do is back this thing back out take this dirt out shove it over make move these trees and then basically nose up to that end, and then just basically work work my way out and I should be able to get this whole section here and then I'll have to come in from that side, maybe that side to get the rest. But I think I can get the majority of it from here. Cause I can also probably go, I can probably nose up where that mini ATV is and grab over there. So I just need to clear this and I think I can almost get, I can almost get 360 cause then I can pull up. Yeah, I might not even have to, cause I really don't wanna have to go out and around if I don't, I don't think you have to. if I need, don't need to. No, I'll, I'll work backwards. Then my tracks are on solid ground. Yeah, I'll see, I don't know if I'll need your, I might need your help with moving some of these little trees. I don't know, I guess we'll just have to see, but I'll get rid of this dirt first. You guys stay tuned. I love how much power this excavator has. It is incredible. Come on. Come on, big girl. Oh, no, I don't want it. Get it away from me. Man, you know would be nice as a thumb right now. That'd be sick. If I can get this tree. Yeah, Jake's doing pretty good. See, it's nice. Now we got beefcake construction. We got multiple guys able to operate. Wait till I get a freaking bulldozer. Man, we are going to be getting some stuff done. Man, I just had no idea how tough it was to run these suckers without a damn thumb. I can't grab nothing. We're also gonna have to probably put in an overflow pipe some, at some point, but we could always use the mini for that. I didn't sink. Pretty good moving trees without a thumb. I was trying. You got them like tough. between the teeth tough. and kind of pulled them. I up. was like, dude, I could get this done so much faster if I just had a damn thumb. Yeah. But we can get it worked. That, I mean, yeah, you're able to yank them out of the, the skid loader. Yeah. It worked. So what we need to do, Banjo, you're on map duty. How map. big you want this sucker? You gotta map it out. Who do you think I am, Dora the Explorer? Yeah. <laughs> map it out. Let's see it. I mean, you might want a little room on each side. I of mean, the that's pit. what I was saying. Like, could try blow out. Basically, so you see the natural berm that's already yeah. around it. All right. So I'll, I'll just work on knocking these trees down, Onto and you can come and just try to push up what you can. Okay. And then once I start spreading dirt, if you want to go grab the bucket, you can. You know, basically once the trees are moved, then help the grapple doesn't do anything. But then if yeah. you just want to help move the bucket a little bit. Okay. All right. Time to clear some trees. <laughs> Oh 
guy. <laughs> Forgot to yell timber. What? Yeah, watch out. Man. I don't have a whole lot of control, boys. You're in the splash zone. I don't think you're supposed to pull them towards yourself. I think that's the problem. Go get that bucket. You can work that dry side. And this is all obviously. All, I mean, it's going. It's. It seems like it's going slow, but I mean, I as I go, it should go faster. faster. It's faster than this kid. But you know that basically, you can start on that high ground. Like stay out of the mud. I mean, if you get stuck, obviously I can get you. Throw it. Throw it up on the berm, and then I can go over there and scrape it out. But I mean, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just. I'm trying to keep it level. That's where Andrew's, Andrew's got the eye for that. Really. And I don't know how wet it'll be. Ideally, we get in there with the skid loader and pack it. I mean, I can drive it over with this, obviously, but kind of back drag it. I don't know if it'll be too wet for that or not, but what I'm gonna do is just keep, basically pull the dirt towards me and then as soon as I get here, I'm gonna throw it up on these sticks, pack it all down. I mean, quick work, I mean, how long was that? Like, started at nine? Yep. So we're about an hour an hour in, an hour. and most of it was just, the tree, I said the tree clearing is literally the hardest part. So the thumb, we'll, we'll really appreciate them. So what we're gonna do is Jason will grab the bucket, him and Bands are gonna start knocking that down. I'm just gonna keep working my way out. Once we get to where we wanna start digging on that side, that's when Banjo's gonna stop start operating the excavator he's ready this i will say probably not a good first trial it's really hard to because you have to pull everything at once to pull it so don't, you don't because otherwise it'll just curl it down so like i'm basically pulling everything at once and pulling like three joints to like so it doesn't go down curls up it's it's actually probably the harder thing but um i could always say when, what i could do actually i got an idea banjo ready i scrape when i have a pile of dirt that needs to be moved then you can scoop the dirt and throw it Oh, because then all you have to do is just go like yeah, this. Yeah, I'll be a one scoop wonder. Banjo's a big one scoop guy, so. All right, well, let's keep digging. Banjo, you're up. Really? Let's see it. I got most of it done. All I gotta do is take out what's underneath this, move this over here, and then what's behind it. We're pretty much done. So I'd say we're 80% of the way. So what I did was I pulled dirt from here and put it here. So to start Banjo, your objective is to move, you don't have to do the whole pile, but move this I'm pile. Wonder. We already said it. Right. We gotta yeah. move this pile over there. Feel okay. free to knock trees over. Those trees don't mean much. Okay. So you know another thing that I was thinking, because I was I was getting all that dirt up. What if we just have a berm around it and just sit on the other side for deer hunting and just like peek over and shoot them through the oh, yeah. through the food plaza? Like, well, well I could easily I'm sit on the back side of that. I'd be loving it. I mean, yeah. So all right, you want us to figure out around this thing? I'll you move that dirt over there and you can push some trees over. Yeah, yeah. yeah this thing's already a muddy mess. It's gonna take. We got. We, I think we need a bigger power washer. This this one's, gonna, this one's gonna this one's gonna take a minute. I think. Okay. So this is the one that you only use for the bucket, or is this bucket too? <laughs> they're they're all. They're all bucket. Yeah. I mean, no, not necessarily. Okay, so we're just gonna go like this. Okay. So now you're in go mode. This thing will spin you. Okay, so that's the move So, pull that straight towards you. Now you're up. Okay. So, to curl the bucket out and back it side to side. Okay, so that's bucket. Yep. Okay. And then this thing will pull it towards you. So the only thing is... So this moves the arm. And the, okay. and the machine. And the machine. So how'd you move? How'd you move? What'd you just do? So pull it up. Pull it, okay. So you kind of have to like do it all yeah. in one motion, which is where things get kind of tricky. And I'm going to try not to die here. Push the bucket out that way. So I, that way, your right, your right hand. Yeah, there you got it, yeah. That's that one. Hey, this is trippy. No, he got it. No, he got it. Okay. <laughs> no, has got it. Oh, look at him. He's hey. got it. Yeah, yeah. Now curl your bucket up, which is your right hand towards me. Yep. 
just takes memorizing. It's just memorizing. Yeah, there's a lot, movie. there's a lot of movements. I'll be honest, the excavator, once you learn it's not bad. There you go. That's a big old pile. That's a big there. old scoop. Yeah. You said he's one scoop wonder, son. Keep scoop, keep pulling it towards me. All right, now lift your buck boom up, which is right hand towards you. Jeez. This is kind of fun. Oh, you like it now. I Banjo's gonna be an operator. Again, he's gonna quit just being an operator. Banjo can't <laughs> All right, so yep, go ahead and spin. Don't kill us. Without hurting anybody. Here, go. Oh, yeah. Now release your bucket, which is gonna be that this, way. This yep. That way? Yep. Look at you. Shit! Oh, I like this. Banjo's moving loads. He's about it. Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah! There you go. That's what I'm saying. There you go. That tree's knocked over. You're probably extended by now, but you got her knocked over. That's fun. You like it? Yeah. But you did good. I mean, pretty I grab, like grab one more scoop. Let's see it. You want me to grab yeah, I want to see. I want to see if you you get it now. All right. Now pull the left arm towards you. I kind of made a mess. No, you. That's fine. There you go. Now straight up. Yeah. Look at that okay. bucket. Bando, got it. Bando, Bando's got it. Bando's got it. Doing good. All right. Cool give, give her, give her a shake. Oh, so you shake shake it off. Yeah, there you go. Shake it nice and good. Perfect. Pop the beefcake up. Who's up now? Yeah, pull jet. Oh. Yeah, you, you, you in or what? What? You know how to run this you sucker? Me, uh, yeah, flip that. That's always the safest thing I, to do. I ran the mini for like 20 minutes. Please. You got it. Go ahead. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Banjo's gonna be an operator. I like oh, this God. more than the skid loader. Oh actually. God, yeah. Oh, fun? this is way more yeah, fun than the skid loader. Yeah. You can scoop a load and then. Uh, Knock them trees over if you want. You got it. I'm gonna get out of your way here. Oh, I don't get a crash course or nothing. No, you got. It. <laughs> You'll get it figured out. Just you're good right there. I'll fill. I'll fill it if we need to. It ain't a big deal. Oh God, yeah. Sheesh. Now you're deep. deep. You're deep, son. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're. You're leaning. Oh, Le Are we oh, leaning? You, go. you good. Just pull it right to you. Look at that big load. Wow, that's what I'm saying. Sheesh. Sheesh! We're stuck. You got it. There you go. All right, wipe out some of them trees. Oh yeah. There it goes. There it goes. That's perfect. Give me one more load. Let's see it. That's a good scoop. I like it. I like it. There you go. You're killing it. Who wants to go? You want up? Pop beefcake. Jump in. Pop beefcake and Jake both have ran the mini. So. We're about a couple weeks yeah. ago on the mini. Yeah, the mini, same controls. Yeah, flip that up. You're good to go. There you go. Nice. Oh, look at that. He's ready. He's ready for the job site. Sheesh. Ah, right, you're hired. I'm gonna go grab lunch. Whoa, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Easy. Hey, where are we? Where are we? Where are we going, Junior? Son of a. Where are we going? Banjo's out. Banjo ran. Good God. Banjo thought we were dead. Sheesh. It's gonna hurt some. I'm doing whatever I want. He's gonna do cookies. I'm scared. I don't know if he realized there's an ass end that sticks out. I would have gotten smoked. Goodness, son. Okay, oh, all right. Out. All right. Knock them knock those trees over. There you go. There we go. Oh! Oh! God. Oh! He's got it. I feel like he's dangerous in this stuff. He's, 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 he's like an evil scientist. <laughs> he finally got the secret formula and he's just gonna go off. He's gonna he's gonna go destroy everybody. All right, you're up. Let's see it. Move that dirt. No, you got it, you got it. Where are we, go where are we, where are we going with this guy? Buddy! Yeah, no, let's go ahead. Wow. <laughs> he's, he's out. There goes that tree. Sheesh! So I think this is where we need to put the outflow. Let's remember to... Well, if we think it's ever going to fill up all of it. I was going to say, what I could do is just leave this a little lower 
So at least if it's gonna blow out, it'll yeah. blow out here and not somewhere else. I mean, there's nowhere for the water to go, honestly. But yeah. if we do need to put an outflow, it'll be here. I mean, that's that'd be a legit. Pipe. If it fills up there, we got a lake at that yeah, point. And if that's the case, then we'll have to dig out a trench, put the pipe so it doesn't hold that much water. We'll just have to see. But yeah. oh, Jake's got it. It's like riding a bike. Yeah, Runs at once. It gets pretty full. We can always just blow it out. Just blow it out. That's true. Take the old mini up here and just blow. Blow her out. You like it? I love this. This oh. is so much more fun than like the mini. Oh yeah, no, the mini sucks, honestly. Like this is out. great. You can you can actually do a lot. So anyways, looks like beefcake construction. Everybody is ready to go. We'll have to do a little bit more training on the mini uh, before we kick everybody loose. But like I said, the goal is for everybody to be able to run every piece of equipment so we can actually get some stuff done. Just like today, Jake ran the skid loader while I was doing this. We got stuff done a lot faster if everybody can run some type of equipment. Look at that. Yeehaw, cowgirl! You're dumping your dirt! <laughs> there was a couple times where I was like, I wanted to put a cowboy hat on and do that because you're really just rocking and rolling. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and dig the rest of this out and hopefully, uh, hopefully get some rain. Stay tuned. Woo! All right, mud pit. It's done, ladies and gentlemen. We expanded. It literally was just this little, right? That bottom part was the bottom. It was just this strip. Now we got all the way there, all the way there, all the way around here. So we left this side a little high. I mean, you don't want the whole thing to be super deep. I mean, now the way it looks, it's gonna go like this and it's all gonna funnel to that corner and it should backfill this way. Technically, we could have like a four foot pond here. Uh, so it may turn into a pond. Like I said, if it does, what we'll probably do is trench out right there and i could do that what do you think should we do it or not should i trench out the overflow i mean I'm looking at this we could have a four foot pond here well, you could always come back with the mini but you're gonna have to crawl over all that and that ain't gonna happen because I'm, I'm this ain't gonna be here yeah, so i could i could go and just blow it out all right i'll blow it out i mean because yeah i mean really we this could be a lake i mean this you see where <laughs> you see where the dam is gonna be now so uh, which would be cool, but you know we're we're trying to ride four wheelers, not jet skis. Before we end it, I'm gonna take make an overflow over here. We're not even gonna worry about putting a pipe in there. Should be all right. Worst case, you get a huge rain, fills up, and starts ripping, you know, ripping a hole through the berm. I'll come put a pipe in there and cover it back up. But there's no big deal. I just don't think it's necessary. We don't get that. It's, it's just rain. You know, there's nothing else. So unless Katrina hits, should be all right. Out, but basically it's got to get to uh, yeah yeah that's about right I mean again we can always make it deeper you know we'll come out here with shovels and get it deeper but at least that saved us a lot of work that was actually a lot of dirt. look I mean yeah. blew out that blew out that whole deal there so basically now all the rain should funnel to here once this fills up and gets too deep and it should wash it out that way so we should be good to go ladies and gentlemen now all we gotta do is pray for a little bit of rain come down here and get to mud and stay tuned Shoo! well folks we are failures at the old mud pit and I give up. It has been two, hear me out, two full weeks since we dug it. So, Lord, give me the rain. The rain came, not enough of it. And within one day, it dried up. So you're thinking, well, Flair, you intentionally built it right by your house, just run the garden hose. So we did, and we pumped it for a day. And I was like, there's a little water here. I guess we'll just see what happens. Came back the next day, dry as a bone. We dug a uh, Sahara Desert Junior right here for no reason. Um, I've tried, like, I've literally waited for two weeks to the point where I'm like, we better, we gotta just go end this video. It's a great video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, I thought it was super entertaining, but you guys wanted to see us come mudding, and it's, I mean, it's rock. I mean, look, the deer been walking in here. Look at that, the old deer. I mean, it's dry. We just haven't had any rain. We had a, a couple sprinkles, but nothing to fill it. Nothing like the first pond. Um, you can see there's a little water left from when we ran the hose down here. We were trying to fill in the lowest spot. So you can see the house is there. We had some there. You can see it dried up there. And then the rest of it's basically sat down to here. Maybe there's a, yeah, there's a couple little low spots from the rain. The deer, the deer liked it though. That's our, that's the world's largest mud pit right there. You remember when we trenched that thinking, oh man, it's gonna rain so much, we better have an outflow so we don't have a pond down here. Didn't even come within feet of the outflow. It's just, 
I mean, it's, it's literally flake. You ever seen dirt just flake? It's drier than it was before it's, we started. Yeah, 100%. It was actually somewhat moist when we dug it. it but it, I don't know if you can tell, but it's freaking blowing 40 mile an hour wind, which dries stuff out, right? Just like you putting a fan on something that's wet. Um, warm weather and 40 mile an hour wind, no rain, will do this to you. So now I've just got that. And I was like, no, 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 just, just give it time. Guys, we just give it time. We just wait another week. It's gonna rain and then we'll make a sweet video going, <gasps> through the mud pit. And it'll be sweet for you guys because I'm, I'm here to make cool content for you guys. So we're like, oh, we should wait another, wait a few more days. No, 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 meteorologist guy, big meteorologist guy. He says next next week, Katrina's on the way. Just, just, uh, just give it another week, just get, two weeks later, two, 14 days. And I was like, you know what, Jake? I think we gotta take the L on this, buddy. This is just, it's not for us. We suck. We suck. The only thing I thought of, potentially, I mean, besides the difference between the first mud pit, which was a smaller one, more, way more successful than this, and this one, was besides rain, because we did get rain, I didn't pack this in. Now's the time, because it's actually dry. It was wet when we built this thing. That's what's crazy. Like, remember that? That was all water when we built this? No water now, just dried. We can't fill it quick enough. I didn't want to run my well dry. The only thing I can think of is come in with the skid loader, smooth it all out, and pack it all in and help and try to seal it. That's the only, I, that's the only thing I think of is like, I kind of like maybe took off the little like clay layer. I mean, it all looks the same. I, I don't really, I didn't really see layers. Personally, like that dirt looks like this dirt. Uh, but that's the only, either that or we just didn't physically get enough rain, which could be the case. We hadn't really had much rain. But you think, geez, it's freaking it's springtime. You know, let's build a mud pit in the spring. Then for sure it'll get full of water. Then we have no rain whatsoever. So I don't know. You guys will let me know. Should we bring the skid loader in here and pack? The only reason why I didn't, well, besides it was a little wet last time, is I figured this stuff would turn into actual mud, not just water. Before we were just going through a muddy puddle. Not mud, muddy puddle, okay? So it's like, oh, this time, let's leave the chunks. And so then we're going through the mud, not the, not the mud water. And but it, 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 it takes water to get mud. Right now we've got clumps of dirt. So let us know, should we come in with the skid loader, smooth it all out, pack it all in, pray for a little rain, maybe put the garden hose back out on here. I was just, I just didn't want to waste a bunch of water, you know, and electricity and well drying up and whatnot. I was just like, oh, no, Mother Nature's got us. No, no, she don't. She's, she had other plans. Or should we leave it, pray for some rain, give it, you know, maybe another month or two. Once we get a big rain, come down here and get it to mud bogging. You guys, you have to let us know. What would you do? WW why D what, what would you do why that takes so long for me to think of I'm not really sure but what would you do would you come in and smooth it all out knowing if you do get rain all you're gonna have is a, a muddy puddle and not a bunch of mud or do you leave it and hope that it's sealed good enough once we do get a big rain to uh, to fill it up I don't really know I, I can't tell if it's seeping or we just haven't got enough rain because it's all new so anyways I suck. I'm sorry. I bought that excavator thinking I'd be do big things for my country, and all I did was make it worse. We had a nice mud puddle. Sometimes the grass isn't always greener on the other side, folks. This is this is a life lesson, okay? All you need in life is a skid loader, make a nice little mud pit. You think you're all cool and whatnot, and going buy this big old excavator. Oh, I'm gonna make the world's biggest mud pit in my backyard. And put it up on YouTube. That's what you get. That's what happens. So, anyways, life lesson: stick to the skid loader and live somewhere where it rains. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.